I get one in? I can't do that. I'm terrible! Oh no! <sighs> like, what are you doing? I'm trying to practice playing cornhole and I'm terrible at it, Kim. I missed too. Cassandra! Yeah? That's not how you play cornhole. Oh, cornhole sure it is! is play no, 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 look, look, open up your mouth. Ready? Here we go. Cassandra! <laughs> I'm Cassandra, and welcome to Central Kids TV. This month, we've been focusing on patience, which is waiting until later for what you want right now. Kim, what are you doing? Ugh. Kim! What is that? It's a dog toy. Why would you have a dog toy that looks like a cupcake? Right here. Now I want a cupcake. Well, my neighbor, see guys, my neighbor just got a puppy and so I thought it'd be nice if I bought the puppy a new dog toy and brought it over, right? That was just being neighborly. Okay, so it's new, it's not used. It's not used. There's no dog spit on it? No, okay. just your spit. Okay, good. <sighs> okay. But now all I can think about is cupcakes. Okay, so let's play a game, okay? Um, just to take your mind off of food. We're gonna okay. put up a picture on the screen, okay? okay. And you're gonna guess if it's real <gasps> or fake. Okay. How about that? That sounds easy. Well, you didn't know that this cupcake wasn't real. Oh. Okay, all right. Okay, I can do it. Okay, okay. so here's the first picture, guys. Here okay. you go. Uh, um. What do you think? Is that a mop? Are you sure? Oh no. Uh, wait, uh, I think it's a dog. Yes, it's a dog. Great job, Kim. All right, here's the next image. Is it real or fake? Hmm. Hmm. It looks really real. Mm hmm But I don't think that's real gold. Okay. I think it's fake gold. I think it's chocolate. Final answer. Final answer. Yep, yep. Chocolate. it's chocolate. Correct. Good job. All right, next image. Oh, I know exactly what that is. It's one of my favorites. Ice cream. Are you sure? Of course, that's ice cream. Nope, it's actually mashed potatoes. What? Yeah, so they've dyed the mashed potatoes with um, food coloring and advertisers actually use mashed potatoes usually when they're making commercials for ice cream because the ice cream melts and the mashed potatoes, well, just simply doesn't. That was a tricky one. <laughs> All right, so here's the final image. Okay, more food. Um, I'm starving. Focus, Kim. Okay, I'm trying. Okay. Um, that looks like a burger. Mm -hmm. It's got a bun and tomatoes. There are even sesame seeds on the bun. Final answer? Wait, wait, wait. Um, it could be a veggie burger. Yes, I think it's one of those. A veggie burger that tastes like meat. Veggie burger then? Yes, final answer. Okay, wrong. This delicious looking burger is not a burger at all. It's a cake. What? Yeah, it looks so good and I'm so hungry. Okay, you're gonna have to wait, but no need to wait for the story before the story. Roll it. The story before the story. Today, we're in Exodus, the second book of the Old Testament. After God chose Abraham and promised to bless the whole world through his family, the Israelites grew in numbers. But then, the Israelites were enslaved in Egypt for hundreds of years. At last, God sent Moses to lead the people to freedom. Moses led God's people into the wilderness where God provided food and water, which is where our story starts. Take it away. The Israelites had been living under Egyptian rule for hundreds of years. Now free in the wilderness, they had to learn what it meant to be God's people. Mm -hmm. When the Israelites camped near Mount Sinai, God's presence descended on the mountain in fire and cloud. God called out to Moses. You have seen for yourselves what I did to Egypt. You saw how I carried you on the wings of eagles and brought you to myself. Now obey me completely. Keep my covenant. You will be my holy nation. When Moses told the people, they were all in. We'll do everything, we'll do everything the Lord has told us to do. God wanted to give Moses a special set of rules that would help them stay connected to God and keep them safe. So God called Moses to come to the mountaintop. Mm -hmm. Wait for us here until we come back to you. 
Anyone who has a problem can go to my brother Aaron. Then Moses and his helper Joshua went up to the mountain. Now, while Joshua waited, Moses went right into that cloud to speak with God. They were up there for 40 days and 40 nights. Which is a really, really, really long time, you guys. Oh. And as you can imagine, the Israelites started to get impatient. They surrounded Aaron and demanded answers. Where is Moses? What's happened to him? Oh, please be patient. Moses will return. Yeah, you keep saying that. We need someone to lead us for reals. Like right now. You should make us a god. The Israelites were so impatient that they forgot all the ways that God had already provided for them. They forgot that they had promised to obey God. Even Aaron panicked. Okay, okay, uh, here's what we'll do. Uh, uh, bring me all your gold earrings. The people brought all their gold earrings and Aaron melted them together and formed a statue of a calf. A golden calf. The Israelites went all in right away. Hey, this is the God who brought us up out of Egypt. Oh, what? In their fear and impatience, Aaron and the people actually chose to worship ugh, their own golden jewelry. <laughs> Let's feast. Let's make sacrifices, eat and drink and dance before this golden calf. So that is what they did. They sacrificed burnt offerings, ate festive foods, and danced wildly in front of the statue. But in the meantime, on the mountain, God spoke to Moses. Go down. Your people you brought up out of Egypt have become very sinful. They have quickly turned away from what I commanded them. Please have mercy on your people. Moses, carrying two stone tablets with God's laws, started back down the mountain. Joshua hurried right along with him. Mm -hmm. And when they got close to the camp, they heard a loud noise. It sounds like war in the camp. That's not the sound of battle. That's the sound of singing. As they got closer, Moses and Joshua saw the people dancing in front of the golden calf. Moses was so angry that he threw the tablets to the ground and they broke. What did these people do to you? How did they make you lead them into such terrible sin? Please don't be angry. You know how they like to complain. They, they said to me, make us a god to worship. So I asked them for their gold, threw it in the fire, and out came this calf. Uh, right. The calf just popped out of the fire on its own. Uh-huh. No, Moses knew the truth. He was so angry that people had forgotten all God had done that he took the golden calf and burned it in the fire. Then he scattered the ashes in the Israelites' drinking water. That was a bitter reminder of what they had done. Yeah, the Israelites' impatience led to some terrible, terrible things. But even when the people turned away over and over, God remained faithful and continued to provide for them on their journey in the wilderness. The Israelites really crashed and burned on this one. They sure did. But when you're stressed out, it's really easy to forget all the good stuff that God has done. Yeah, when you have to wait, take time to focus on what's true. Think of the ways God has helped you before. You can remember that God loves you deeply, no matter what. Yeah. You can remember that God is always with you while you wait. And God puts people in your life to help you while you wait. Waiting can actually sometimes make things even better. Like cupcakes? Um, I don't know what you mean by that, Kim. If you take them out of the oven a little too early, uh, you don't really get cupcakes. You yeah. get this ooey, gooey mess. Yeah, and waiting well is hard, but remember, you don't have to do it on your own. When we follow Jesus, God sends us the Holy Spirit. And patience is actually a gift from God's Spirit. Our big idea today is when you have to wait, remember what's true. And this is not true. Um, what about these? <laughs> <gasps> Are those real? Yeah. Bye, everyone. We'll Are see they? you next time on Central Kids TV. What do they smell like? What do you think? They smell real. <laughs> oh, it's Sandra. <laughs> They're real. <laughs>